The violence between Israel and Hamas forces in Gaza is starting to spread, and this morning the U.S. is offering to help them work out a ceasefire. President Obama called Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu and expressed concern about further escalation. Israeli tanks are lining up along the Gaza border. Rocket fire from Gaza this morning is blamed for the first serious injuries reported in Israel. We're also hearing of the first rocket attacks from Lebanon. Holly Williams is in Gaza City, where the Palestinian death toll is rising as well. Holly, good morning. Good morning. There are threats being made by both sides here this morning. As Israel considers a ground invasion, Palestinian militants are warning that they intend to target Israel's Ben Gurion International Airport with rocket attacks. Gaza is being pummeled by Israeli airstrikes. In Rafah this morning, as they searched for survivors of one strike, more missiles forced them to scramble for cover. Dozens of Palestinian civilians have been killed, many of them children. In Gaza, there's an impotent anger with an unseen enemy that strikes from afar. The Israeli military says it's trying to put a stop to this. Rockets fired by Palestinian militants into southern Israel. This morning, they hit this gas station in Ashdod, injuring three people, one severely. But so far, no Israelis have been killed, thanks in part to the country's advanced missile defence system, which shot down more rockets over Tel Aviv this morning. Israel says it's targeting those responsible for the attacks. This strike yesterday killed three militants with pinpoint accuracy. But Israel also targets the homes of Palestinian militants, which it calls command centres. An airstrike on this house killed a family of eight. The Israeli military said they gave a warning via telephone and the family evacuated, but then returned too early, just as the strike hit. Their neighbour, Rita Kowari, told us a very different version of events. Because it is not uh, given uh, a lot of uh, time to uh, leave at uh, home. They weren't given enough time to get out. Two or three minutes. Several rockets were also fired into Israel this morning from southern Lebanon, which could mean that militants there have decided to enter the fray as this conflict worsens. Nora. Holly, thank you.